So I recently graduated this year, which puts me in this new stage of just kind of like figuring out my life and where to go next. It's all very scary and new to me, just kind of like navigating life post-grad. The scariest thing is really just the fact that no one's telling me what to do. There's no like right or wrong way. And because there's no sort of like guidebook on how to do any of this, it leaves me feeling pretty anxious. For the first time in my life, there's just so much autonomy given to me about what I can do next. And that just means that I really have to take control of my own life. And one way that I like to do that is by organizing everything around me, both physically and digitally. Notion has been like the biggest lifesaver. I have been using Notion for many many years if you guys have been following me for a while you will have seen by now just given all the past videos that i have done with them just how much i love them and how they've really helped me throughout every stage of my life i used to use it back in high school i used it in uni and i'm going to continue to use it post grad i spent quite some time just kind of like fidgeting around with the notion blocks and really kind of figuring out what I needed in this new stage of life. A lot of my time was spent just kind of like trimming out a lot of the stuff that I had in my previous templates and what I didn't like because I felt like I had a lot of excess stuff that I never ended up using. So I wanted to make sure that these new templates felt more intentional and more practical. I just want to note before I jump into this video that it is sponsored by Notion. If you haven't signed up yet, now is the perfect time whether you're a student or if you're someone just navigating life post-grad like me. Make sure to click on my link down below to sign up for free. So the biggest thing is that I've been using the same templates for a while now and I decided now is the perfect time to kind of change up everything as I begin this new chapter in my life. I want to show you guys my new goal tracker, planner, and just everything in between that I'll be using as both a content creator and someone that's trying to live a healthier lifestyle. So here's just a quick look at my old templates. If you're curious about them and you want to see them more in depth, then please feel free to check them all out. I will have them linked down below. Okay, so first we're gonna land on the main lobby page. So if you guys remember, I used to have a page called the front desk. This is meant to replace that and as you can see, I have stripped it down by a ton. Um, up here in the corner, you have two embedded widgets. You've got this little clock and you also have this little calendar and you're going to see that I'm going to be using a lot of green throughout these templates and that's just because green is one of my favorite colors if you didn't know already plus it just gives me like a sense of calmness and peacefulness I don't know how else to describe it but I just I just really love this color so we've got that and then right beside it I have this little notepad area which I'm going to use to write down any like random little notes and reminders that I have below that I have the check-in section so these are just links to other pages which I'll get to throughout the rest of the video but this is mainly like the main part it's like this little daily to-do list it goes from Monday to Sunday and as you can see I kept it pretty simple I think these new pages are all about like simplicity and really just cutting through all of like the aesthetic stuff like I'm still trying to make these pages look nice but also recognizing that I have to be very intentional intentional so i wanted to make sure that this was super like practical functional and intentional i just jot down the things that i have to do for that day so today is wednesday um i'm recording this video on the day that my notion draft is due but besides a point as you can see um you know i just have like the little to-do list and it's really nice because i just get to like check off all these blocks so underneath the wellness section i have this habit tracker page and i'm honestly really excited for this page because I've never really made a habit tracker page both physically or digitally so it's really nice to be able to track all this and I know that some of you guys may be looking at all this and being like this seems a little too much but honestly I feel like given the fact that I haven't really been taking care of myself these days and that I've been really like lazy and not paying much attention to my health I feel like this page is very much necessary and I kind of just like being able to track all this because it feels very rewarding in a sense 
to me i don't know why but um up here we have like the navigation section so it's just easy backlinks so i can go back to like my other pages or back to the main page up here in this wellness section i wrote down a little note that says trackers reset daily to just kind of remind myself like hey make sure you like reset these at the end of each day or um the next morning so i have a water tracker because i'm just terrible at drinking water and staying hydrated um beside that i just have a little vitamins tracker and then below this this is the most important section to me on this page and it is the meal tracker slash planner so this is going to be where i'm going to keep track of all of the meals that i've had and meals that i'm planning to make for the week so uh i just have like an issue with eating like three meals every single day and it's gone to the point where i'll like eat something after starving for a good couple of hours and then i'll get like really sleepy because i haven't like eaten all day and then it just kind of like messes with my productivity cycle um and just overall it's like not good for me at all so i'm just trying to be more mindful and attentive to when i eat and just how much i eat um so yeah that's really it. Um, as you can see, I'm just really trying to make a point of eating three meals every single day. And that is pretty much it for this section. Below that, we have the mind section. So since I'm not in school anymore, it's very important that I exercise my brain and I continue to consume educational content and content that will really just stimulate my mind both um, in the form of like videos, digital content that I consume or just like physical content aka you know books. I've kind of like been laying low on reading these days so I definitely have to get back into it again. Um, so these trackers reset daily but right here I have like the books read. So if you guys remember I used to have a template where I would keep track of like all the books that I used to read and I would have like this digital library I'm not sure if I want to do that again just because I haven't been the best at reading these days So I think to simplify I'm just gonna have this little tracker um, And then this tracker right here called brain food. It sounds very vague um, This is supposed to be like the kind of content that I'm gonna consume which is actually educational because I feel like these days I've been consuming a lot of like mindless content aka like tiktok reality shows and stuff like that so i'm also trying to be more vigilant about consuming um, more intentional content that i feel will just add brain points <laughs> so that is everything for my habit trackers i'm really excited for this page like i said so hopefully i stick to it that's gonna be like my biggest thing so heading back to the main lobby um here i'm gonna show you guys my stepping stones this stepping stone page is going to be my goal tracking page. I've never really made one in the past before because I'm not much of a goal setting person, which I know sounds kind of bad because everyone's all about like making goals and I feel like goals are definitely the way to kind of like help motivate you and push you towards doing the things that you want to like achieve eventually. So I've been kind of like bad about planning out my future because i'm kind of like in this whole mindset of living day to day obviously like in the grand scheme of things that may not always be the best which is why i have this page and i kept it pretty simple because for someone that doesn't really track like goals in this way i decided that the best way to get into it would be to ease myself into it so kept it pretty simple it's just daily goals weekly goals monthly goals and yearly goals i don't really think i have to explain this page too too much it's pretty self-explanatory um but i'm thinking that eventually i do want to add like a financial goals page within this page so just like a little subset page and kind of like categorize my goals i guess once i really get into like goal setting but for now this is all i have um and yes i do have a little rock as an icon here so this is everything that i have back to the main page i have a work section underneath my check-in so 
this is my content hub as someone that's i guess trying to pursue content creating as kind of like my full-time job this is something that i'm just trying out temporarily i kind of want to put my all into it and i've been really just trying to maximize and really streamline how to make a proper content page i've watched a couple other um, creators that have talked and showcased their content page um and so i was trying to find like a good balance between like my work process and seeing how they get their shit done so right here i have the idea station idea station is like whenever i have an idea i want to quickly like note it down here just so i don't lose it um and then i just have this little table like organized with the tags so which platform i will most likely be posting it on and the status so if i've started it if i'm in the process of doing it or if i'm done um as you can see not much work has been done um and then below that i have another table called the workspace so this is when i'm actually like fleshing out one of these ideas over here and i'm actually putting in the work to make this piece of content happen you know because i think that there's like obviously a huge gap between like having an idea and then making it come to life and there's like so much work put in between all that you know like i have a bunch of ideas but half the time i want to say like 80% of the time it doesn't actually come to life so I have to make sure that I actually get to it so this is just what I've done so far um, but yeah so in this table I just have the title of the piece of content the platform and the status as well as like whether or not it is sponsored so i'm keeping it pretty simple i think i used to have um an older content page where i would have like all these sections within the template itself such as like you know aesthetic references the script voiceover yada 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 and like i would only really end up using maybe like one of the sub pages within the template so it just felt like a big waste but like I felt like I just needed to have all this here because it seemed like really organized, but in actuality, I keep it like fairly simple. So there's not much here. Below that, I have my content calendar. So here I just um, make a note of deadlines and like brainstorming days um it's just a mashup of my video stuff and podcast stuff so this is not like my personal calendar i didn't want to include all that into the content calendar just because i don't want to get like confused for some reason notion hasn't added like a thing where you're able to like color code i don't think into the calendar so this is just how it's gonna have to be for now back to the main lobby um now the last page that i want to get into is my podcast station if you guys don't know already i have a podcast and it is something that i will be focusing heavily on throughout these next couple of months and for however long so i wanted to make sure that i refresh this page um, i felt like my old podcast page wasn't super effective in how i wanted to like organize everything so i'm making sure that the way that I go about this page this time around is more intentional so right here you have an idea station and this is where I'm brain dumping just like random stuff um, not just episode ideas but also just like you know giveaways and things like that because I do have an Instagram account dedicated solely to my podcast so I wanted to make sure that I'm brainstorming like content and stuff like that for the page and then I just have like a social media strategy page um, and then underneath that I have my content calendar it is the same content calendar that we just saw in my content hub um, and then here files i just have my episode list so this is the same episode list that i used in my previous template just because i felt like this was pretty effective at keeping all of um my episodes and stuff like that so i wanted to reuse it again but this is fairly simple you know you just got like the name of the episode or sorry the number of the episode and then you've got like the tags um whether it's like yeah because i talk about like a whole variety of things on my podcast and then the mp3 file um a summary so i just remember like what i talked about in that particular episode um and then i have a section for the title which i haven't done a good job of filling out but um besides that yeah so that's pretty much 
it for this page so i don't know if you guys have noticed yet but all of the pages have a navigation section up at the top which makes it really really easy to go back and forth on all the pages so that way i don't have to go all the way up to the top and then press the back arrows and everything it's just easier hope that you guys um enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed the tour let me know if you end up using any of these templates i know that they're fairly simple so you can probably just recreate these without having to use them but if you want to save yourself some time then feel free to click on any of the links down below and yeah so until next time and also don't forget to check out my podcast and click on the links and everything but yeah so until next time i hope to see you all very soon